before we had um, PowerPoint, we used to have slide shows, 35 millimeter slides. An Eastman Kodak up in Rochester, New York, uh, would, you would buy a roll of film, uh, Kodachrome or Ektachrome film, black or white, black or white or color. And after you had taken the pictures, you would send this to Rochester, New York, New York, and in a week or so, you would get back, instead of the negatives, you would get back the slides. And then you could have a slideshow. So you had a projector and a screen, and you would, instead of PowerPoint and looking at them on a computer or on a screen, uh, this would be an old time slide projector. Sometimes, instead of the slides, you would get back a strip of negatives, and Kodak would send those to you in a box, or a container, excuse me, a container that looked like this. And I guess in the old days, it came in an aluminum container or a metal container, and then eventually they went over to plastic. Uh, sometimes you could, if, if you were at like the Independence Hall and you didn't have your camera, uh, you could buy slides of different scenes. And this piece of paper, uh, it says each set contains eight slides at only $1.95 per set. And for instance, under Pennsylvania, it has set number 4600, Pennsylvania Rose Test Garden, which I, I don't know, Rose Test, Rose Test, Pennsylvania Turnpike, Gettysburg, and Erie. <laughs> so this, you could buy slides about the Pennsylvania Turnpike, which was the first limited access highway in America in 1939. Uh, manufactured the most complete 35 millimeter color slides, beautiful sets in, of eight. And where is that from? It's Mel, Mel Stone's Travelers Around the World, El Paso, Texas.